Ah, trapped inside a tiny box in your computer. That was my attempt at mime this morning. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Mr. McKinley, you know, the uh, grumpy man who lives on the far side of the hall, uh, for those who don't know me. Uh, I'm in charge of the uh, computing uh, curriculum for the school. Uh, so it is down to me to tell you all about Safer Internet Day uh, 2021. Now, um, it is something that uh, all of you would be doing in your class with your teacher uh, and obviously the people in your class. So there might be points uh, during this uh, when uh, it says talk to your partner and things like that. Unfortunately, uh, your talk partners will uh, be the grown ups you're with today or maybe an older brother or sister um, that you have around you. Uh, not pets. I would advise against using pets as talking partners. Uh, they don't talk back very much. Even parrots, I think, would be quite useless here. So, Safe Internet Day uh, 2021. Uh, let us have a look. So, the, see, the theme mm, for Safer Internet Day 2021 is an internet we trust, exploring reliability in the online world. Right. Uh, going online, uh, talk about it. Uh, when do you go online and why do you go online? So if you want to have a quick pause here and have a chat with the people around you uh, about when you go online, when they go online, uh, that sort of thing. Pause if you'd like to. Okay, right. So we go online for lots of reasons, including watching TV shows, for sure. Playing games, yes. Watching online videos, yeah. Talking to friends, yeah. I think, uh, Finding out things, hopefully you've been doing a lot of that uh, during lockdown. Homework, potentially, maybe a bit young for some of you guys. Um, but yeah, I think, well, I suppose people are saying something through Class Dojo, I guess that would count as homework. The internet can be loads of fun. This is true, I will stand by that. Uh, but who do you think owns the internet? Who do you think decides what can be put onto it? Who makes sure the things on the internet are truthful and real? Well, no one knows the internet. No one decides what can be put on. The internet can be used by everyone. Uh, and everyone can add things to it. So uh, again, we're going to pause in a moment, or you can pause in a moment should you wish, uh, to have a, a sort of discussion chat point. Uh, trust means to be able to count on someone and know they're telling the truth. Do you think you can trust everything and everyone on the internet? Okay, have a pause and have a chat about that. Come back if you paused, if you didn't. Right. OK, so this is another. This is a would you a would you uh, talk to your partner about these two different situations. Tell them whether you would or wouldn't do each thing and explain why. So hopefully you can chat to uh, a grown up who's facilitating this um, or an older brother or sister or a twin if you uh, happen to be one of those. So um, right. First first situation, first scenario. If a stranger came up to you in the street, talk to you and ask you to go with them because they had something really good to show you. Would you go? Have a pause and have a chat about that. Welcome back. Um, the second scenario, um, if a stranger came up to you and told you they were giving away free television in a house up the road, would you believe them? Have a pause and have a think about that. Welcome back. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, hopefully, uh, obviously, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't go. Uh, I know that all of you out there are sensible children with your heads firmly screwed on, and that you wouldn't uh, go uh, to, to the house up the road to look at the television or, or you know, go with a stranger. So I guess it's, it's. Hopefully, you had a nice discussion about how that kind of relates to the internet um, as well. So here are some important things to remember when you were online. Just like in the real world, the internet has both nice and nasty people using it. Very important. The majority of the people in this world are absolutely lovely. Um, but unfortunately, there is a very small minority uh, who are not. And unfortunately, uh, it seems to be uh, they love using the internet to be mean. Uh, there might be people who want to help you and people who may want to trick you or be nasty to you. You can't see the people using the internet and it's hard to tell who is nice and who isn't. Yes, that is very true. Right, to help you stay safe online, remember anyone can use and add things to the internet, which means that we can't always trust what we see on it. We can't always trust that the people who want to talk to us on the internet are nice. We can't always trust the website um, websites on the internet. Some may have viruses that can stop our computers from working properly. So how can we use the internet for all the fun things but still stay safe? 
Uh, yeah, we're doing this slide again because of something that I tried to do. Uh, you'll see at the end, and it went horribly wrong. So uh, we're doing this again. So there's a sudden wrong jump. Uh, I apologize for that. Okay, so how to stay safe. Try to overuse websites you know can be trusted. If you aren't sure, ask an adult. Yep, I think that's, uh, we can all agree on that. Try to use websites for children as much as possible. Yep, of course. Um, uh, remember, some people will tend to be children to talk to you. Never give out your name or address. We don't really know who you're talking to when we chat through the internet. Now, I think, uh, I know that year ones will be watching this as well as year twos. I think for everybody, that's going to be a year or two away at least, uh, possibly longer in terms of like talking to you. Because I think what they talk about here is talk to you through little message bits. Often if you're playing um, some computer games, there's a little text box at the bottom that pops up and people can chat to you. I don't think in terms of video chat, people would really try to pretend to be a child doing that, during that, because obviously trying to dress up as a child, you can usually tell it's not, not a kid. Um, so it's something that won't necessarily apply to you now, but I think um, in a year or two, it's never too early to start thinking about kind of that kind of stuff. On the internet, people do pretend to be people they're not. Again, I think it's only a small uh, number of people, but unfortunately uh, they are there. Um, so yeah, remember, you don't know who you're talking to. You don't know who you're talking to. So uh, never arrange to meet an online friend without telling an adult. And again, I think that's, that's uh, even for the year two, is that still a, a good few years away for all of you guys. I think, um, you know, talking to, uh, you arrange to meet people through the internet. I don't think anybody will be doing that uh, yet. But it's, it's worth thinking about um, that, if, you know, somebody said they are um, a, a child, they live at a certain place, they're going to meet you at a certain place. You don't know uh, who is sending that message. Um, so there you go, do tell an adult. But again, a few years away, I think now. Yeah, remember, if you aren't sure about anything, always ask a grown up. Now, now you see, this, the, the, this, this, the person down the bottom, you can't see part of their head because of um, of the box with me in it. And I, I tried to get my head into the position so that I could move it up a bit like him. And I was trying to get my jaw, and it all went a bit wrong. I kind of fell over a little bit. But oh, look, I've got a red nose now. There we go. Right, anyway, that's a me amused anyway hello again oh well, hello again this is another slide i'm doing um uh, a second time because the slide didn't behave in the way i thought it would uh so this is gonna be another talking point one um bullying um so the talking point is uh, what is bullying what is bullying so uh in a moment if you uh want to do that pause that uh and then have a chat with the people around you um about bullying um and what you think it is and then uh we'll come back in a moment and we'll see what their definition is so pause okay i'm back again um what is bullying so their definition of bullying is bullying is when a person uh tries on purpose to hurt another one uh either in what they say or what they do it usually happens more than once um hope you came up with something similar Right, some people use the internet to bully others. And this is called cyberbullying. Now, again, I think this is probably going to be a year or two away uh, for, um, for, for, for everybody, uh, year one and year two. But it is something worth considering now. And another one that I didn't do again. I read it all through first. I have read all of these. But um, I, I became a rambly sidetrack talking about something. So I thought, no, let's pull it back. Let's pull it back. So cyberbullying. Uh, so bullies may send nasty text messages or emails, say unkind things about people on social networking sites. Uh, and for further clarification as to what those are, rather than me ramble about it, ask uh, grown-ups around you what uh, social networking sites are. And try to get others to say um, unkind and nasty things too, just like bullies in the real world. And uh, send unkind photographs to lots of people. So cyberbullying hurts people just the same as any other bullying. Yeah, uh, it, it's not nice. It is not nice. Um, I hope that everybody uh, in year one and year two is a few years away from doing the kind of things on the internet that might expose you guys to uh, places where some bullying might happen, but it's never too early to stop thinking about it. So. And another jump, um, have another go at this slide, uh, because I clearly my brain is in a rambling mood this morning, uh, so I'll try to keep this ramble free as well. So what if you're upset? What if you're upset? Um, the most important thing to remember is if you see something that upsets you, tell an adult, a grown up you live with, or a teacher at school, or any of the other adults in your life that you trust, be that uh, sort of people from off school club, uh, friends of the family, you know the people that you can trust. So talk to those people. 
and they can help you report the thing you saw if that is what needs to happen. Um, uh, we say to the children, uh, the children watching at home, we say to you um, before um, any uh, computing lessons when you're going to go on the internet, we'll say that if you see something you don't like, uh, turn off the monitor, it's one of those computers, or put the uh, uh, iPad down and tell a grown up. It might be that that thing does need to be reported, or it might be that actually it's a picture that in some way might be fine for some people, but it upsets you. Um, so talk to people uh, if you see something and it needs to be reported, they can report it. Uh, they can talk to you, make you feel okay, and they can help you find a website that is better. Uh, they can help stop the bullies hurting other people too, if it's a case of bully. I think um, all the children at home, hopefully uh, we've talked to you about it, uh, that uh, there are gonna be some websites that might have uh, pictures that you find upsetting. It might be a website about um, how in some parts of the world, uh, even some parts of the UK, some animals are not treated well. They might have photographs that show those animals not being treated, being treated very well. And it's a nice thing they're trying to do to help the animals have better lives, but those pictures might upset you. So they're, they're not designed to scare you. Uh, but you might be scared or upset by them, uh, and that's when uh, you do need to tell an adult. I mean, there are some people who put uh, scary pictures uh, on the internet on purpose to scare you, but hopefully uh, you wouldn't be going on any of those kinds of websites. Uh, anyway, that's been an aspect. Right. If you see someone else being bullied online, don't join in or be nasty to the bullies. Tell an adult. Don't write unkind things about other people or use nasty words. You can't see the person, but it will still hurt them. So, yeah, I think um, hopefully all of you at home, uh, all the children at home, it's going to be a couple of years before you're going to the kinds of uh, places uh, where this sort of stuff could happen. You never know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I don't know how the or what, what kind of uh, websites you go onto, or games you play. But hopefully, you wouldn't be going uh, onto something where nasty messages can be sent by one person and seen by everybody else and other people start joining in and teasing people but maybe you do i don't know um but either way don't join it's not nice uh, just because uh, you can't see the other person doesn't mean they don't have feelings so you know think would you say this to a person in the playground would you say this to a person in the street um if uh it's say in the playground somebody fell over they're playing a game they, they don't want to do very well you, you nobody at stillness i hope would would go up and tease that person oh you're rubbish uh, um, so if somebody's playing a game and they're not great at it maybe they're new to it hopefully you wouldn't type in things about oh you're rubbish because it will hurt people's feelings in the same way as, as doing it in the playground uh right remember to be smart stay safe online never give your name address Possible out to anyone online. They may say things, uh, or they may say they are the same age as you, but they could be lying. They could be anyone. Um, meet. Never go to meet someone you have made friends with online. If an online friend wants to see you, talk to an adult. Remember, they might not be who they say they are. They might be a lovely person who is very close by to you and just wants to go down to the park. They may not be. Um, they might be someone mean um, who wants to trick you. Uh, so always talk to an adult or talk to an adult and then if the adult says it's fine to go and meet that person they can go with you accepting if someone sends you a photo or a file ask an adult before you open it it could have a virus on it don't accept it now that's really key especially uh, during this kind of lockdown time there's been uh, a lot of uh, naughty people trying to use computers to either break other people's computers or steal money from them so uh, if somebody sends you a photograph or a file or anything like that, say, oh, look at this new song, look at this great photo. Before you click on that to open it, uh, make sure you check with an adult. Again, this is probably going to be a year or two away from me before this kind of stuff might even possibly happen. But it's worth thinking about now. And reliable. Uh, remember that you can't trust everyone who uses the internet. Not everyone is kind. They aren't reliable. So if you see down the mark, S-M-A-R, smart. Uh, tell an adult if something online uh, upsets you or makes you, I'm not sure that that, that word says it's hidden behind my head. Um, angry, bad, I'm guessing, something like that, either way. Um, if, if it's made you feel weird, strange, just not right, tell people. Right, that is the end, that's the end. So uh, thank you for everyone uh, watching at home, uh, adults and children. I uh, hope you've had a nice discussion about what it means uh, to stay safe on the internet, as I've said repeatedly and at some length um a lot of this stuff just won't apply to you yet it won't apply to you um for a year or two um 
but it might it might uh, at some point it certainly will so do stop thinking about this stuff now and think about how you can be kind on the internet our school values are not just values um, that we live when we see people it's about every part of our lives and these days the internet is a huge part of our life so my challenge to all of you uh, at home both adults and children is to live our school values on the internet just as you would uh, in the playground uh, in the pl uh, our playground playgrounds um, in the wide world uh, and at home so please uh, stay safe on the internet but really think about those values think about how those values can be used um, to not only keep you safe but to spread positivity um, and love through uh, the internet here you go safe for internet day